I don't think we don't have a musician in the group, so that's not going to work. Someone, uh, what was it? Travis, I think, tried to play chess, but no one wanted to. But we've got cards now, and, and cards, uh, and cards helps. So we'll do that. I think. Moving on to the store. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay. Travis, Angel, Lawrence, Scratley, everyone approached the store with the intention of breaking in. They had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of confrontation. Uh, they headed to a side door leading to the storeroom. When it came to getting inside, the crowbar proved very useful. We cleared the room, taking down three zombies. We can hear half a dozen, maybe more, shambling outside the room. It doesn't look like there are any zombies outside the store. Okay. Wow, so there's quite a few zombies here. Uh, hmm. Are we, uh, can we... We can't give any orders yet, because we have to just uh, keep attacking, but we can we can decide. Oh no, we can't even decide to leave if we want, so we just have to wait. Okay. Let's do it. Well, here we go. Here we go. Everyone was still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. There were a few zombies outside the place. Most of the fighting took place in the storeroom. Travis blasted the zombie's head with the handgun. Uh, Angel clobbered two zombies with a golf club. Misty smashed two zombies with a crowbar. They got them all. Is this place now secure? It is. We've secured it. Okay. So we want to get, like, at least two people on watch duty. And I think these two. Hold on, Misty. Yeah, you're good at repairing, prepar yeah, repairing vehicles for some reason. Caitlin, uh, mm, yeah, you can. We do need to consider food as well, because it has been like four hours now. So people might be getting hungry. So maybe we want someone... Who was the cook? I'm sure someone was a cook. Yes, you're the cook. Angel's the cook. So let's have Angel. Oh, wow, look at this. Tougher. Nice. We want Angel to prepare a meal. Uh, prepare a small meal. There you go. Because we don't have that much food as it is. Everyone else needs to search the joint. Yeah? Alright, Lawrence and Travis are the best searchers. Do it. Do it now. Found a cooking ingredient. Nice. Found more cooking ingredients. A cricket bat. A deck of playing cards. Oh, we just took one from wherever. And a pair of binoculars uh, in the aisles. Lawrence says half of the rooms have now been searched. Angel prepared two small meals. Nice. So now is that a supply? Small meals. Uh, or is it under food? Yeah, small meals. Excellent. Nourishment, five stars. We need to uh, make some more of those, I think. Yeah, I think we'll leave these as they are. Yeah, keep watching for zombies. Keep searching the place. Keep making food, because we'll need it. Uh-oh. Fighting. Fighting happened. We're on to the next page, apparently. So... Okay, then Mr. Eight Two Snacks. Okay, fine. That's why we're making the food. Uh, Lance just found a shotgun in the storeroom. Wow. Okay, okay. We were ready for a fight. Misty and Caitlin were watching for zombies at the time and moved the uh, shelf from the storeroom entrance, giving them more time. Yep. Uh, zombie burst through a door leading to the aisles. Travis took command of the fight and led Angela into the office. Caitlin and Misty were unimpressed and Travis, <laughs> with Travis's plan. I did not follow him instead, seeking refuge in the storeroom. Most of the fighting took place in the aisles. Misty shot a zombie in the head with a with a hat with the handgun. They got them all. Nice. Oh, look at these. Right, is the place searched yet? Fifty percent search. Right, we need some more searching action. How much food do we have now? Uh, four small meals. Okay, let's do one more batch and then leave it, and then we'll have him start searching after after a bit more searching. So what have we found? Uh, found. 35 9 mm rounds, a fire axe, 7 quarrels, uh, more quarrels, we didn't have a crossbow. A small meal has been spoiled, it's probably due to the number of corpses lying around. Oh, Lons and Travis found a handgun in the star room and a packet of painkillers in the bathroom. Almost all the rooms have now been searched. Angel prepared four small meals, he stopped preparing meals because he ran out of ingredients. Okay, that's a good point. We need, yep, yeah, just search a little bit more. So now we have five small meals. Can I instruct people to eat them? Uh, 
They just eat them whenever they whenever they want, I think. Okay. Oh, we need to clean up corpses. Yeah, we need... Um, I don't think we'll be staying here. So, in fact, let's not bother. Let's just do one more round, and then we'll probably leave after this, because I think the place will get searched. Found some painkillers in the bathroom. Nice. All rooms have been searched. Okay, awesome. So, we're not staying here. We're moving on. We're moving on before it gets dark. Do we want to move on to the other store or a factory or something? Let's move to oh, the picture. Oh, that picture. Let's go for the store. All right, so we're all moving to the pit to the to this new other store. Uh, we're all moving to this other store, and then we're gonna. It's gonna be a breach. I'm taking all the weapons we can carry. Oh, there's so much ammo. I want to take it all. Oh, why do I have to click so many times? This is slightly in inconvenient. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of this. Oh, uh, I'm not sure about the the crossbow stuff. Take all the medicine we can. Take all the food we can. Right, and then uh, wrench, yeah. Screwdriver, map, handgun, binoculars. One pair of binoculars, I don't really need two. Saucepans, oh, that's good for making food. We'll take one, because we don't know what's going to be there. And sponges and stereo. Uh, we'll take one wooden spoon, maybe, because it only weighs half. Hacksaw, flashlight, we'll take one fire axe. We'll take a deck of playing cards, we'll take a crowbar. Wait. Oh, we're full! Damn it! We're taking far too much. Fine. We're gonna ditch the uh, <laughs> the crossbow quarrels. And instead, we've got a fire axe, haven't we? Yeah. We've taken a deck of playing cards, we'll take a crowbar. Uh, okay. We're not gonna take a crowbar. Right, how many guns have we got? We've got three guns, a golf club, and a cricket bat. Uh, probably. Oh, what's better? Apparently, the golf club is just outright better than the cricket bat. So we'll drop the cricket bat. We'll also drop. Is that saucepan weigh a lot? It does weigh quite a lot. We use, we've got a lot of stuff. The fire axe is big. But it's good for getting into places. Uh, although, what's going to be about the crowbar or the fire axe? I guess the crowbar is probably more stealthy. Do you want to take some scrap? Not really. I could take a can of gasoline. Oh dear. We're now stuck for how much we can carry because look at all this stuff we've found. We've got to take some melee weapons because. Um, yeah, because the shotgun and you know, they have limited ammo. In fact, the shotgun we have no ammo for the shotgun. So in a way, the shotgun is useless because um, we have no ammo for it, and it weighs a lot. But if we find some shells for it, that would be amazing. Hmm, it's a difficult one. It is a tricky one. Screwdriver is really good. Do we want the saucepan? Isn't necessary, I don't think. So let's ditch that. It is a weapon, but it's not a very good weapon. I'm gonna take a knife because knife, the knife doesn't weigh that much. Do want a butter knife? Butter knives are useless now. Bold spirits. Um. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh, we've taken all the food and all the medicine. That's good. I'm not sure what we should take from now on. Maybe... Do you want... And we've ditched the fire axe. Let's bring that back in. And then we've got a bit more space. We've got a deck of playing cards. I don't think we want any more entertainment than that. All this stuff is very useful. Hand axe? Oh wait, we've got a hand axe and a fire axe. What's different? Oh, the hand axe is way more useful. Hand axe is way more versatile. It has basically the same stats, but with extra stuff. So we don't need to take the fire axe at all. So we can actually just take something else in its stead. Now, the golf club is just slightly better than the cricket bat, so we'll stick with the golf club. And then, oh dear, do we want to take a can of gas? Take a can of gas. Just one can. And. And maybe... Do you want to take a sponge? 
help with cleaning stuff. We won't take any stereos for now. We'll stick with a wooden spoon because it helps with cooking. Oh, I ditched the saucepan, didn't I? The saucepan's good for cooking as well. Can I take it now? No. If we ditch the sponge... Oh, I still can't take it because the sponge doesn't weigh much. I need to ditch, like, a little bit more t to bring that. Which is a shame. Because it's the ammo, I think, that's messing it up. Let's make it difficult. Do we need to take all, all of the ammo? Maybe not. If we take, it, take that much ammo, I can then take a saucepan. And that's four. I'm losing seven rounds, but we have four. And we'll probably find some more, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Let's do that. So we're moving to this other store here now. That's where we're going. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Uh-oh. That's no good. Okay. The store at 3 Moody Drive is a tiny building with around four rooms. It has two doors and five windows leading from the outside. Everyone approached the store with the intention of breaking in. They had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of confrontation. They headed to a small second story window leading to the aisles. When it came to getting inside, the crowbar proved very useful. We cleaned the room, making, uh, taking down two zombies. Lawrence received small cuts and tears. Oh dear. It sounds like there's only a handful of zombies wandering around here. A small mob is gathering outside the store. Angel Lawrence ate two snacks. Okay. So there's not much we can do because we're here. Uh, so we now have to just kind of uh, go with it. Caitlin and Lawrence ate two snacks. Hungry bastards. A small meal has been spoiled. It's probably due to the number of cuts lying around. Oh, we're losing meals. Maybe I shouldn't make them so prematurely, perhaps. It's getting dark outside. We'll need to be more vigilant. Caitlin, Travis, Angel, Lawrence, everyone. Everyone was still trying to clean out the remaining zombies inside the store. A large mob has gathered outside the place. A door and a window leading to the aisles breached by three zombies. Most of the fighting took place in the aisles. Travis clobbered a zombie's head with a pair of brass knuckles. Nice, getting in there with the brass knuckles. After striking its head, uh, Caitlin chopped the zombie's head with a hand axe after hacking its left arm. Misty smashed three zombies with a golf club. Angel shot a zombie's skull with a handgun after blasting it its arm and left foot. Wow, okay. So all the zombies have been taken care of. Well done, guys. Uh, the worst we ended up with was Lawrence has some injuries, so we need to we need to help Lawrence with his injuries, which is unfortunate. Is there an option to do that? I forget. Treat an injured survivor. Yeah. So we want to treat Lawrence. Treat an... Wait. What? Lawrence. Treat Lawrence. So treat Lawrence. I need to... Wait, no. Yeah, treat... Uh, what? Treat Lawrence... Who's the... Right, Travis. Treat Lawrence. Uh, what? No. This is wrong. We wanna... No. What? I wanna... What? What? What's, what's it doing? Okay, treat Lawrence. Travis. So Travis is going to treat Lawrence. Nice. And then... We want to search the place. Uh, oh. Our best searches are, uh... Are busy, so we want Caitlin and Misty to watch, and then clean. We're gonna stay here for the night, so you have to clean up corpses. Wait, who is the corpse cleaner? Uh, was it Misty? Yeah, Misty's good at cleaning up corpses. So that's what we want her to do, actually. So we want to swap these around. We get Misty off that, Angel on that, Misty on that. Lawrence then needs to search the place while being treated by Travis. So this is interesting. That's what we're going to do. Let's do it. See what happens. Okay, there's more zombies. That's not good. Let's see what happens. No blood spot, which is really good. <gasps> Have we found a crossbow? Oh, I left all the <laughs> left all the bolts behind. Travis ate a snack. Small meal has been spoiled. It's probably due to the recalls. Oh, damn it. We're losing loads of food. I shouldn't have made it. That was a mistake. 
Launched on a bandage, a chest set, four cooking ingredients, a crossbow, a crossbow. There it is. Flashlight, guitar, three snacks. Lon stopped searching the location so he could be treated. We are prepared for battle. Engine came watching the zombies at the time and moved the shelf in front of the aisles and dungeons. Yep. A door into the house was breached by a zombie. Most of the fighting took place in the aisles. Lawrence blasted the zombie's head with a handgun. They got them all. Look at this. We're efficient fighting team. We're staying the night, so we probably want to do a little bit of barricading. But I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. Please like and favorite if you're liking this. Um, hopefully you're liking this. I, I, I think I think this has been entertaining. It's hard for me to say, really. It's, it's a difficult one. I, I don't know if I'm entertaining. I assume I am, but I'm an idiot, so I'm probably wrong. And yeah, if you've been enjoying this, like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, please leave some feedback. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.